Uber Eats, get somebody else to do it. I can't. I just, I just really can't. I, I have never been able to really be me when working with black people. Why should she be the one? What's up, cool people? Happy Monday. People like, what's happy about Mondays? Everything. I got my car back, baby. <laughs> I got my car back. Oh my God, because I don't really like my wife car. Okay, and they put mm -hmm. some air in the tire for me. This was on. See, there go my baby. She quiet. Oh, boo. I have to take care of you, boo. It's been five years. You five years old, boo. Mommy gonna take care of you. Talk to you, car. I'm going to go to Dunkin' and get me a coffee, but I have a, I got 10 minutes left. Um, I'm not on the clock. I'm salary because I'm a manager, but I got 10 minutes left. <clears throat> I came around the corner to get my car real quick. By the time, by the time I get there, um, by the time I get there, It'll be 3.30. But I'm gonna um, just go anyway. Say goodnight to everybody. And uh, then I'm gonna leave out and start my journey of Ubering. I see, uh, I follow Shanina. I think her thing is all things Shanina. I follow her. And I started following her because she also is an entrepreneur. She has her own virtual call center and I was like, okay, I got a few pointers from her. She don't even know. She's been my mentor through this thing. Her and a couple of other ladies. So, yeah, shout out to Shanina. I see her um, in the Uber streets and I see that she was doing Uber Eats. Now, the thing with me and Uber Eats, <clears throat> there goes somebody calling me, one of my agents. The thing with me and Uber Eats is like, I really can't get jiggy with them because it be like $4 and this is with the tip included. Like, who is y'all talking to? You think I'm going to drive 20 minutes to do a $4 ride? What sense do that make? You burning my gas. But I'm going to try it out. Now, I still got some stuff to do. I got to get... Um, I got to get a tune-up, I think. Because it's been five years. I got to get maintenance on it, I'm sure. I need to get an oil change. And I'm sure all that stuff is going to pop back up. Very soon. Because... It's gone away now, but oh my goodness, I'm sorry for being quiet. I'm just listening because this is how my car's supposed to sound, just quiet. I'm just glad that my baby is back. So I think I'm going to try Uber Eats today because it got to be something in it. If I see some people talking about they don't do Uber Eats, I mean, uh, Uber at all, they strictly do Uber Eats and they make pretty good money. So it got to be something in it. Maybe I just need to get my feet wet. I've tried it a few times, and I'm telling you, they be lowballing the sister, and I ain't got time for that. But, um, ooh, my baby sounds so quiet. But I, um, man, I had a ride the other day. I got a ride from the from the shop or whatever on Saturday, and a girl was cool. She was, it was an Uber driver or whatever, and she was saying that she made pretty good last last year um she made almost a hundred thousand last year and i was like that's what's up she she did good for herself and that that is really the money is out there i'm gonna say that so if you 
if working from home ain't for you because these work from home jobs ain't for everybody i get that and that's what i tell people when i am um advising them about the work from home positions that i have available or that the platform has available when they try to come work under my company work from home working from home is not for everybody it's mine um, some people don't like to just be at home like that. Some people like more hands-on. And that's understandable. You got to respect it. You know, everybody different. Like, I swear I got adult ADHD. I have not been diagnosed, but I remember, um, excuse me, one of my trainers, he was saying he had adult ADHD. And he had to do multiple things at one time for his attention to be, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, that sound like me. Because I have to, I can look at TV, read a book, and be on my phone at the same time and know what's going on with every last one on. And as far as conversations go, if you are, if it's not an engaging conversation, then yeah, I might forget something you said. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. If, if we're having a conversation and I'm doing those things, if your conversation didn't grasp my attention like that, then I'm probably, probably going to forget. Because I like intelligent conversation. I don't like gossiping and stuff like that. I said that on um, my um, last video. I don't like all that gossiping and shit. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I like intellectual conversations. I like talking about making bread, honey. And I don't mean in a bakery. You know. <laughs> Let's talk about getting to this money. This is what it's all about. Let's talk about ways to elevate. I'm on to better things. I'm only doing shit that's gonna help me elevate. <laughs> for real. For real, for real. I, I just thought we having conversation for, for bullshit. So... I don't want a kiki. I don't want to do that. Like the girls do on these damn, um, I be seeing these damn basketball wives and shit. I don't want to have a kiki with nobody. I don't want to sit around and damn kiki with hoes, with roosters and chickens. I want to goddamn sit in the midst of kings and queens. That's what I want to do. But yeah. All right. Let me, um, I'm almost to the house. Like he is good. He kind of scary. <laughs> a dude walking up the street. Okay, I'm almost to the house. I think I'm gonna get there just enough time for me to say I only been gone about shit ten minutes, and then now I'm back. So that's twenty, I guess. But now I'm headed back. But I'm gonna um, I am going to tell them good night. And I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get out here and Uber for a little while. Just a little while. Not a long time. Because this weather really got me wanting to crawl back in the bed. I'm not crawling back in the bed. That's for certain. It's too late now. You know. But, um. This weather is. I like, I like rainy weather. I do. I absolutely do. I can get a lot done when it's raining. I can get a lot of work done because my spirit is at its common state at that time. But when the sign out, it's like, gotta go fast. I don't know. I don't know why. But I gotta go fast. So, alright y'all. I'll be back. When it comes to Uber Eats, get somebody else to do it. Today is what Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I didn't even come back yesterday and say nothing because my whole plan was to get out here and do Uber Eats because I saw Shanina out here making it happen, capping. First of all, it was raining. Second, just get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I turned that app on. I turned the Uber Eats. No, I'm lying. I didn't even turn Uber Eats on. What had happened was that shit got through and they said if you would like to accept it, you can even though you have your options turned off. $3 and some change and it said includes tip. 
Fuck no. You crazy as hell. Okay. So now fast forward to today. Same shit. Two or three slid through before I actually even got a ride. Had me thinking, maybe I need to really get this shit a try. One of them was $6 and some change, includes tip. Which, let me tell you something. Let me hip y'all to some shit. A lot of these folks will put the tip on there for DoorDash and Uber Eats and shit like that. They change the fucking tip after they get their damn food. As somebody who has worked as a waitress, that shit is tasteless. I tip motherfuckers even when I go in to pick up my food because somebody prepared this shit. If it's a tip area on there, I tip. If it's a tip jar, I used to tip when I carried cash, but I don't carry cash anymore because I ain't going to be really mad at you for stealing that card because I can cut the card off or, or they'll reimburse me once I let them know that the card was stolen. But I'm going to be pissed off if you steal my cash because, baby, I can't get that back. I'm going to have to get it out your ass. So, yeah. Uber Eats, get somebody else to do it. I can't. I just I just really can't. Uh, I can't. But, um, yeah. Today I had, um, so, I ain't even going to talk about all that. But um, the company I work for, well, I will talk about it. The company I work for, they merged with another company. So, had a meeting today and I was so nervous you guys I don't know what the fuck because let me tell you something first off about me I'm very shy very shy so my anxiety was at an all time high and so like last night I even took one of my anxiety pills which ain't nothing but a Benadryl right I thought it was something else not to say you gotta be proud to take anxiety pills or nothing like that, but just to say I thought it was some kind of hard drug. But they were like, you only taking uh, antihistamine. Puffy. <laughs> so I need the anti I need the antihistamine any damn way, cause it's my season for pollen to be itching my ass and not my ass literally, but itching my body, itching my eyes, my nose. But you see, I'm okay because I've been taking the antihistamine and I took the Allegra, so. Um, I didn't even take that liquor today, but I had took that in a history last night, so I guess that had me sick. I don't know. But my company, okay, so all the people was on it. I'm thinking it's just going to be a few people, but I forgot this is a global company that we merged with. So I don't know why I didn't think it's going to be a lot of folks. Honey, I was so damn nervous. I don't even know why I was so nervous. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You you do your job and all this, then the third, but you know what? People just, some people real funny. Some people just, um, some people will just fuck with you for the hell of it. So let me see. I was about to work at a big time company downtown as their ambassador. I was going to be the first face you see when you walk in. Anybody need to go. This was a couple of years ago when I was doing security company or whatever. Um, well, more than a couple now because it's been a few, it's been a few years. So anywho, um, everybody... I don't know if anybody else had this problem, um, but I've always had to talk myself down when um, being hired by a person of color versus I can talk about my accomplishments and my knowledge when I'm talking to um, other races. And I, I'm saying other races because I mean other races, not just one, but other races in period. But when I'm speaking to a person of color, it's like, I got to talk down about myself. I can't really tell my accomplishments and where I come from and how I got started. Things that most people want to hear um, when you're just meeting them and you want to know who's about to be running some shit for your company. I, I have never been able to really be me when working with black people. Yep. I can't, like, can I say black people? I don't know if I'm supposed to say person of color or black people. That's why I said person of color. So if y'all thinking I'm just saying no pill to my bitch, you a person of color? No. No, this ain't your opportunity to try to jump up this motherfucking tree because baby, <clears throat> 
This ain't your opportunity. It ain't. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> but I just don't know the lingo. I learn as I go along. But yeah, I, I just don't know, y'all. Why is it like that? And then women at that. So like I was saying, I was about to work for this big time company downtown. And everybody was on board. One person walked in. Guess what? It was a sister. <laughs> People have been big on image in the workplace. Like, I wear lashes. I wear nails. But I will run your company <laughs> the way it needs to be run. By the book. Only going outside of that when you allow. And I'm very professional in the workplace. But this sister came. She had longer than my nails. Mind you, I went and got a manicure. I went and got my nails done over, got them cut down short, and put a neutral color on there because I knew this was a big name company. Everybody else was on board, baby. Everybody else was not of color. This one sister come in there with her long lashes and stuff. Why should she be the one? What's up, cool people? Okay, so... It's hard for me to pick up this damn camera. I ain't gonna lie. But I said I gotta do what I gotta do. So, um... Yeah, today is hump day. And... Let's just talk about this for a little minute. And then I'm gonna end this vlog because... I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna end this one right here and go on and drop it for y'all for the weekend and then start my weekend one because tomorrow starts. Tomorrow is my Friday. I do not work this Friday. We are off on Good Friday because the client that um, my agents are servicing is a state client. Right or roof, hey, hey. So, <laughs> I'm so hey, I'm old. Um, so let's talk about something for a minute the way i feel okay and how things are going so um i talked about how <sighs> pause tonight i am going back because i got a copyright claim on the video that i dropped on it was supposed to be dropped on sunday i ended up dropping it on monday so i got a copyright claim on it I'm gonna go and drop the and, and and do that, edit that, so that I can <laughs> repost it and then push it to my other platforms. But this one will be dropped on Friday, and then I will have something to drop for Monday again. Okay, so try to be consistent here. Let me try some out uh, because I've been meaning to try this to see. I'm at Navy Federal. I have a, a Navy Federal account. And uh, that'd be my last one. And I've been meaning to try this um, to see if it works. They told me I can use my card at any Navy Federal ATM. She had said it was some other ATMs I can use it at, but okay, cool. So I can, okay. Sometimes you have to fuck around and find out. This was a good fuck around and find out, though. This wasn't a bad fuck around and find out. So, okay, but. Let's have a serious conversation. So I started two gigs. Um, I talked about earlier in this vlog how I, um, well, I, I talked about it in my other one too, how I launched my own virtual call center. And let me, let me just cancel this. I'm done for the night. I'm, I'm done. 
Um, let me turn this off too. Off. I'm done. My wife is about to cook some um breakfast for dinner, and I absolutely love breakfast anytime. So yeah. So anyway, I launched my um virtual call center, and I start under my own company. I start on the 24th. I start. Um, my certification but then I start another gig with another company Omni Interactions which um Lou I follow you I follow you girl and you put me on to Omni Interactions so I start with one of their companies on um the 14th and so, <laughs> I follow this chick on TikTok, Kelly Rowe. And she was talking about, this is all on the road to me um, buying my home. Now, shit, I would love to show y'all the houses that I want. I won't take that ride today because I'm a little closer to the home than I am to that. But it's around the corner in Stockbridge, Georgia, if y'all heard of it, down south. I'm from Atlanta, but I'm moving further south because it's quiet. It's quiet down here. And I'm going to move even further because it's, it's just quiet down here. I love it. So, what's going on now is this all I'm doing. I ain't, okay, I'm not trying to just be a Jamaican here. They say Jamaicans work a lot of jobs. I'm, I'm all about the money, though. Believe that. But um, I'm not trying to be slaving. What I'm trying to do is prepare myself to buy my home. Now, right now, I'm hearing the market is not great. I am so focused on trying to get a few things in place first before I start even studying the market. Like some things in my credit. I want to make sure that is in order. So I'm going to make sure all my T's are crossed and my I's are dotted before I even begin the process of looking into, um, you know, what the market is supposed to be and blah, blah, blah. All the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? The meats and potatoes. The real deal of it. So... Okay, back to what I'm talking about. Still be all over the place. I told y'all in that last one, if you when you look at it, you're gonna see what I say. I'll be all over the damn place. So um it's like okay, so I work also. I work for another place. I've been with them since 2019. But I started my own company because I saw a need. So the need was they didn't have babysitters and, and you know no support and so many parents were single parents guys and women you know what i'm saying and they um they needed that support they needed their help and they couldn't adhere to the schedules that were being presented to them hold on one second y'all Which I get it. If you if you take on a job, then you got to be prepared for whatever comes with it. I get that, but at the same time, you still have your family, right? And everybody can't work from home. Well, every client don't work from home. Ain't ain't no work from home client. Hi. Okay, so this person just pulled up, and they until they order already. So did I get in the wrong lane? <laughs> I hate when that happens. Hello. Yeah. I hate when that happens. I'm trying to be good, y'all. Hello. I hate when that happens. So, um, a lot of people could not go home in 2020. You know what I'm saying? 
So I was thinking about how in the world can you do, how, how can you fix that, blah, blah, blah. Anywho, I never figured it out. And I'm gonna just go to the window and order because it's ridiculous at this point. Um, never figured it out. So finally I did research last year and I remember this um, company, Arise or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I remember them, so I read up on them again, and a lot has changed. So, kudos to the operators of Arise, because y'all y'all saw the need too. I see you um you saw what was happening and capitalized on that, and I think that is outstanding. I think it's outstanding. So now, what I'm getting to is that. <laughs> With these two jobs that I'm going to be working, I will be making more money than I make right now. And I make pretty good. So let me see. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> so this this what I'm this where I'm at with it. It's been some changes at my job, and you know I was talking about how the devil be thinking he got you man he be thinking i got your ass but every time because i know who i belong to i know i belong to the most high and you know so i know that the most high the ancestors and the universe work together all for my good and so yeah I'm never, I, I'm a worrier anyway, but I'm never worried. I always know something's going to shake. I am a worrier by nature. So, um, right now, uh, there's some changes going on. You know, they merged with another company. I won't disclose that information, but I will say that if I have to come back into the office, I'm going to have to, I might have to resign eventually maybe not though maybe not i just gotta take things as they come to see exactly how it's gonna be um i, I believe everything gonna work out for the good though i really believe that everything will work out for the good so now if you're interested in a work from home opportunity check out my website it's in the description box SLC Solutions LLC.com. It is in the description box. And um, there's an area on the About Us page at the bottom to set up a one on one with me. And I will go over um, the ins and outs, ups and downs of um, the company, the platform that you'll be working under, as well as um, what perks you get by working under SLC Solutions. So yeah, that's where I'm at with that. So, I'm very, um, I've been doing this thing since 2019 and I was so nervous because I've always been right in front of people. I've never had a customer service position where I was on the phone. So, in 2019 when I got this job and I didn't even expect to get it, I was actually driving Lyft in between in between jobs because, um, I was working security and I needed a contract and they were in negotiation with a new company I spoke about that very briefly um, okay so she just ain't gonna take my order I don't pull it up but she ain't paying me no attention hey I was at the window and nobody ever said anything to me so I just wanted to order a drink um, a large high sea orange with light ice. That's all I want. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Thank you. Mm 
Thank you, you too. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the house and I gotta be good. Hi. Thank you. Have a great one. Something about your hands on my butt. Look, it's a planet fitness right here. That where my fat ass need to be at. That's where I need to be at, up in there. I need to be, but I gotta go to my Planet Fitness first and get my initial little black card. I can go to anyone, but I have to get my black card from my initial place. And my initial spot is over, of course, by my house. Well, closer to my house. This is by my house as well. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna ride one day and show y'all them houses I'm looking at. But you know what? I can show you a similarity because over by uh, me and my wife were talking about it we have a style we agree on something y'all me and my wife don't agree on jack shit we agree on the style of house mm. yes i see orange you can make me leave them teas alone <laughs> i see orange I'm glad they brought you back. You can make me leave those sweet teas alone. So anyway. <sighs> so yeah. I was in between jobs, whatever. I was actually Ubering. And then this girl was like, um, just apply or whatever. Just come up here. We having a job fair. Just come up here and apply. And I think she told me 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 1.30 or something like that. I'm like, okay. So I ended up Ubering until it was time. And um. Luke, I was driving Luke. I was, I do both of them. So, um, I ended up doing that until it was time, and then I interviewed and I got the job. I was like, okay, this is different. And I always, I have very bad anxiety, y'all. So it made me want to cry. It made me very anxious, and I wanted to cry. I always want to cry when I'm very anxious. Because I'm afraid of change. Because I believe you got a good thing going, just keep it going, right? I had been doing security since 2004. It was time for me to let that shit go. That was like a security blanket. Like, I know I can fall back on this forever. Because I had lived one time and I was selling insurance. And I got scared of that and ran back to security. You know what I'm saying? But this particular time right here, I was like... I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a try. And here I am. 2019, I started in September 2019. And by, um, when did I start? Okay, so then September 2019. And then I ended up, I had a plan. It was September. I had a plan. I said, because I thought I was permanent. I came in permanent. But then they changed some stuff in the system. And that's a story for another time, y'all. A story for another time. Because a story for another time. If you want to hear it, come in hear it. Come in hear it. And I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I, I'll tell you the story. But yeah, it's definitely a story for another damn time. But moving along from it. Because I'm getting pissed off thinking about it. Um. Then they made me a temporary a. a my um my my camera died that gopro don't last long i'll tell you that because i ain't used it in a minute and as soon as i cut it on it had 100 and then it had <laughs> it went all the way down to like 89 percent and then i put it on charger at about that was about four o'clock i put it immediately on the charger i was like okay so it was fully charged and now it's kaput but then too it could be overheated i don't know but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, then they made me a, a, a temporary agent. And I said, okay, I got a plan. I counted up. I said, I got this amount of time before they made me permanent. And then I'm going to go back to security. And so then the time was dwindling by. So I went on back 
to the security company and they were like, we had been trying to contact you and I was like, for real? And they were like, yeah, we've been trying to contact you anyway. Um, you didn't check your email, but no, I hadn't checked my email. They were like, we had a position ready for you and we had a position ready for you or whatever, whatever. Go ahead and, and we gotta process you back into the system because we process you out. Cool beans. Took the drug test, got my new uniform, all these, that, and the third. Y'all, they gave me what I wanted at the other job. I ain't even say nothing. I never let on to what it was that I wanted at the other job. Oh, it's a cat in the street. That hurt my heart. I never let on to what I wanted at the other job. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, this is what it is. And I was talking to God about it. So, okay. That came around. I said, okay. Got this amount of time before this, 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 and that. I said, I need to be making more money on another client. Or however, I can make more money. Move up in the company, whatever. I ended up... They, they asked me um, why I hadn't applied for a management position yet. And I was like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how they go. I thought that, you know... I just try, I just mind the business that paid me. And I don't be in anybody else being trying to see how they became. They didn't. But sometimes it's best to communicate like that. So I did. My training manager was real cool. So I could talk to her about anything. So and me and her are real cool now. We're real good friends. So she just, we stuck. We both Capricorns her birthday the day of the month. She a little younger than me. Matter of fact, she's a lot younger than me because I'm 40. And I think she is still in her 20s. She's very mature, though. I'll say that. Or maybe I'm just immature as hell. But no, seriously, she's very mature. I can talk to her about things. She a little bit more seasoned when it comes to this whole um, call center life. So I can talk to her about things. And now, so yeah. Hmm. You can make me leave, sweet tea. Baby, we'll sit at the light. We'll sit at the light. So, um, they want you to go sooner the shit turn green. Like, soon as it almost turn green. Like, you don't even see the green yet. It's still red. They want you to know when it's about to turn green and be under that motherfucker when it turn green. But anyway, um, okay, so, yeah, anyway. So, um, <laughs> I was giving myself a time frame. I was giving myself a time frame to this, 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 and this. And it all came about. You know what I'm saying? I started and I applied for the management position. They kept telling me when that next uh, management, my manager and another manager kept telling me, uh, a standing manager, she was like, when that next management position pop up, you need to go on and do the application. She said, matter of fact, I'm going to let you know when it pop up. And then it popped up and I did it. And so um, then I got an interview. ASAP, just like that. But they were working on another project and they needed people, so they asked, would I help on that project? Sure, I will. Oh. Now, my manager right now, he don't know that. He talking about, you remember you wanted to do management, but um, I told you, wait. That ain't how that went, but I just let him go with his story anyway. When he introduced me to someone, he said that. He was like, I remember you. Um, remember you wanted to do management, but I told you wait, because little do they know, I have, I don't talk about it. I don't really talk to a lot of people in my job. I mind my business, and I do my work. Unless it's something I need to know about the job, or how to do something, blah, 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 or how to step up Then I know certain people I can talk to about that. But other than that, I don't be in people's face. I just don't. I ain't never been like that. So, um, honey, um, I've, I've, this ain't my first rodeo in management nor operations. They don't know that, though. They don't know I've done all these things before. And it is what it is. So, moving along. Um, now I just, I, I, I'm very, very, very excited about this opportunity and um, still nervous all the same, but not as nervous because I've done it now. You know what I'm saying? I have that under my belt. Um, I kind of know how it goes. Before I was jumping out there and didn't know deadly squat about it. You know how I'm old now saying damn deadly squat. I ain't know nothing about it at all. And I was just jumping out there because 
I was like, you know, they're going to try me. Might as well just do this shit, right? So, um, here we go. Um, I start one of them on the 14th. I start another one on the 24th. And I also have an agent starting. Okay, so I ain't had no storage on my phone. My camera died. Oh, so many things. But not even to hold y'all any more longer. The moral of the whole story is, with me making more than what I'm making with these two g jobs that I have coming up, I'll be making more than what I'm making right now as a manager. And it's kind of hard for me to stay if they're going to bring me back into the office. Peace.